Hi guys and welcome to another tutorial from Level Up Gaming. Today I'm going to show you how to install Batacera to an external hard drive. Now if you're not very tech savvy don't worry it's really simple and it can be done in a few quick steps which I'm going to run through with you now. So first of all you're going to need some software which I'm going to link in the description. Um, everything as I said very basic and you're going to be up and running in no time so first of all you're going to want to download the Batacera disk image file now when you download this folder uh, you'll notice that there's lots of different versions these are for the Raspberry Pi so Raspberry Pi version 1, the RPI 2, the RPI 3 and then you've got desktop versions 86 and 64 so for 32 bit and 64 bit desktop PCs so depending on what hardware you have, depending on what uh, uh, computer or Raspberry Pi you have, you're going to have to select one of these options. Um, and you'll also find a PDF document installed in Batacera. And this is basically a step-by-step -step guide in written format. Um, so if you prefer to do uh, to follow instructions that way over watching a video, it's entirely up to you. It's your choice. Um, now, so... I am going to be using uh, the 64-bit version because um, I, I'm running on the 64-bit PC. Um, so we're going to prepare this to uh, to install this onto uh, onto a hard drive. Now, hard drive I'm using is this one here, uh, Batacera F. Um, so let's just lo load that one up. Now this has already had Batacera ROM, but there was a uh, a, a corruption in the drive which means that we had to wipe it and now we're going to reinstall uh, Batacera and go through the process of loading games uh, uh, BIOS files, changing themes etc etc which you're going to see in uh, in following videos uh, but just for now let's get uh, uh, Batacera onto the hard drive now let's see if we go to properties um, now this is the 320 gigabyte hard drive but it's only showing 1.85 gigabyte available that's because of the partitions that have been um, uh, installed on the drive um, but the format when formatting it it just didn't get rid of them so uh, I suggest using another bit of software um, to repair this drive completely um, and what I recommend using is a uh, Malva styles USB disk repair now it doesn't just repair USBs, I mean it can repair USBs, uh, hard drives, um, SD cards, SSD drives, um, I mean anything anything that you plug into your computer memory wise, this bit of kit will fix it for you. So let's launch it up um, and let's see if we can get it to clear up the, uh, the hard drive uh, which we're having issues with. So you can see it's already recognised it as 298 gigabyte rather than the um, the 1.8 gigabyte that the PC is uh, uh, is only able to view. And we this is how simple it is. We hit this part, and are you sure you want to repair? Okay, um, and it just zips through, zips through the hard drive. There we go. There we go. And it'll drop a test file in there once it's done. Um, perfect. So now if we have a look at properties of this drive. There we go. 298 gigabyte. Perfect. It's, it's removed all of the partitions. Um, completely formatted the drive. Um, it's clean and ready to use. Now, so let's close this down. So now we've got the hard drive, the, the external hard drive prepared. Uh, we're going to want to install, uh, we're going to flash the, uh, uh, the Batacera image to it. So for this I recommend using uh, Etcher. Um, it's a really, really easy, really simple program. And once you download it and load it up, this is how it looks. So you want to select an image. And we're going to select this image here. Uh, open. Select the drive where we want to 
uh, where we want to flash the image to and this one here the 320 gigabyte uh, hard drive which we have just formatted hit continue and then flash um, and you're going to get a warning message you know it's unusually large for an SD card or USB stick but doesn't matter just just hit continue um, yeah uh, now this is going to run for a few minutes it's going to it's going to install the image and it's going to validate it um, and then once it's done uh, that's it we're basically done uh, we're ready to launch a uh, uh, Sera. So um, I'll see you in the next part of the video. And there we go. Uh, the flash has been complete, which means that the uh, our drive should now contain all of the Batacera files and we're ready to launch it um, and, th and start playing games so this is a uh, this is what you'll see so whether you're going to now install this into uh, uh, a computer and use it as a dedicated uh, emulation machine or whether you're going to keep it as an external hard drive so you can use it when you're carrying around uh, your drives now prepared um, so we're going to switch over to the next video to show you what it looks like on first installation um, and then we're going to start running through things like themes, adding ROMs, BIOS and getting yourself set up. So uh, I'll see you in a minute.